Today, we have another opportunity to show you some of the unique application potentials for our high-density secure set spray foam. Recently, we were contacted by a customer that said, hey, I have a problem with a void under a sidewalk on the side of a home. So this is what happened. The sidewalk was laid. Obviously, there was fill underneath, and it was uh, uh, butted up against this uh, stack block wall. But previously, this gap wasn't sealed. So the rainwater came down, flowed across the concrete, dropped into the gap, and started to wash out all the fill underneath the sidewalk. So this has been going on for a while, obviously. And then um, the son-in-law of the woman who owns the house was walking on the edge of the concrete, and he noticed that it was flexing a little. And so upon investigation, digging out the leading edge of the sidewalk, he found that there was a fairly significant void under this sidewalk. So they asked us if we would come out and take a look at this. So with the use of a stethoscope, a hammer, and a piece of chalk, just like I've done, it's very easy to determine exactly where the void is. Also, with a high-powered flashlight, we are actually able to visually look the entire distance of this void. Now, it's not very wide. It's about two feet wide, about, oh, five to six inches deep, but it's 22 feet long. It goes from this joint all the way to the leading edge of the sidewalk. So, the unique question is, how do you get foam high-density structural foam 22 feet under a sidewalk. Obviously, you don't want to break it out and refill the, uh, the, uh, the soil and then relay the concrete. But what we can do with the use of these CPVC tubes, basically extensions, we are going to attach them to the end of the static mixer that we use to uh, blend the product as it is forced out of the canisters. And we can insert this probe as deeply as we want. And so what we're going to do is we're going to insert the probe, oh, probably to within about eight inches of the back of the hole. And then slowly, with the, with the product continually coming out, we are going to withdraw this in stages until we know that the foam has filled all these areas. Now remember, it comes out at a specific volume, and then it expands twice to two and a half times that volume. So it will move laterally and horizontally, filling the void as we continue to extract this tube from the void. Okay, now the fun begins. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the kit we're going to, uh, you know, get out the hoses and get everything ready. But before we attach the static mixer to the extension tubes, we're going to run that tube all the way to the end of the void. And again, we've estimated that it's about 22 feet long, so hopefully uh, we can get that uh, tube threaded uh, that full distance. So very easy to set up like you've seen before. Open it up, pull off the top piece. You have your eight extension tubes. You have your hoses, your static mixers. Hoses feed through the slots. Each kit comes with a multiple pack of mixing nozzles. Today we're gonna use the conical one. So we're going to attach this first because we're going to do a test shot just before we attach the long extension tube. But we'll do that in just a second. First task is to feed that tube all the way to the end of the void. That's what we're going to do now. All right, we're basically back as far as we're going to go. So. Next thing is, 
for us to attach the static mixer and we're just going to let as much foam as we can flow into that back void. Before we start injecting the foam, I'm going to set this nozzle into the uh, pipe, give the uh, edge of the pipe a little cushion here. Well, we've attached the nozzle to the long extension tube, and before we start injecting the foam, we always do a test shot, make sure everything is working properly. So what we'll do is we'll open the valves to pressurize the lines. And any a little box will do. Remember, this has a safety on it, so you release the safety. So we've got good pressure, good mix. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to redo the safety. We're gonna remove this nozzle. And then we're gonna attach it to the extension. We are ready to go. Let's do this. I can hear good flow going through the extension tube. Oh, I see foam expanding. You can hear it. It's going good. It's going good. Another six. Another six. Perfect. How far is that joint? Good. Okay, let's stop for now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna change the nozzles because we're pushing this through over 20 feet of tubing, so we have another 10-foot section over there. We're gonna bring it in, and then we'll, uh, we'll have uh, much more control, and it won't take as much pressure to get the, the uh, product through the line. All right, there we go. Okay, somebody pull the trigger. There it goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pull it out, because I'm gonna reposition it to an upper void. Okay, we're going to have to extract it, Daryl, because there's a void going this way. We're going to have to turn the tube. Ready? No, no. Uh -uh. There we go. To your right, just a little bit. Well, we're finished. What a great project this is. You can see the end result here, how big the void was. We did 22 feet of sidewalk 
Again, it was probably two feet wide, probably four to six inches deep. And uh, we used about one and a half uh, kits, about 15 cubic feet of high density foam to fill the void. You can see the, the end of it here. So we started at about 10.30. Right now it's about 12.15. So about an hour and 45 minutes to do this whole project. Remember, this is a great uh, do-it-yourself project. Homeowner capable, you don't have to have a contractor come in, possibly even break up the concrete, you know, refill it, reset the concrete. And uh, you've got some uh, great support under here. Now this foam, uh, we've been able to improve the formula slightly from our last video. Uh, this foam will support 10,080 pounds per square foot. So uh, anything that they want to put on this uh, concrete sidewalk is going to be well supported. So that's the conclusion for another great project with uh, SecureSet. And again, sidewalks, pool decks, um, carports, um, driveway. Also, uh, times when you have a portable shed with a suspended wooden floor, sometimes that floor gets soft. You can run these extensions under there, fill those voids. Re, re, uh, you know, uh, make those floors solid again. It's a, it's a perfect application. Thank you again, and we uh, thank Daryl and Kim for letting us come out here and uh, do this uh, demo and uh, with the ability to, to put it on film. Great day, great job. Thank you very much.